Now this is a story we've been following for you since last week and those go home chants you heard just a few seconds ago directed at Secretary of the Interior Deb Holland, a supporter of this federal ruling protests at Chaco Culture Historical Park blocking Holland and prompting that celebration to relocate to Albuquerque. Reporter Julian Paras was there and Julian, you spoke with some who say a few things need to be cleared up. Mm, darling, it wasn't too long ago this plaza was filled with Pueblo leaders and supporters of this land withdrawal as Department of the Interior Secretary Deb Holland spoke about the importance of this change. But we must be united in the protection of our children, our culture, our shared sacred spaces. Sacred spaces like Chaco Canyon. Secretary Holland, joined by leaders from Indian Affairs and governors from different regions, came together to celebrate the protection of 350,000 acres, land that will now be protected from oil and gas drilling. But the measure is controversial, causing a protest at the site where this celebration was supposed to take place. Janine Yazi with Indian Collective witnessing the conflict. She says she understands people want this to happen for economic development, but argues the cost of oil and gas is not worth the price. We have seen and have lived with the impacts of this industry throughout our nation. Navajo Nation President Boo Nigren says this impacts thousands of Navajo people and could affect development for the next 20 years. We walk the ground every day, not you guys. Where are you? Advocates for the land withdrawal believe this had to be done. You're poisoning our land. Yazi hopes as time goes on, a solution can be produced. What we want is development that's in line with our cultural values and the vision that we have for our current and future generations. And oil and gas has never provided that for our people. Now, Holland has said this protection for the Chaco region has been in the works for decades. Meanwhile, Nigren's administration hopes that Biden and his administration can both come together to be able to come up with a solution down the line. Live in Albuquerque, Julian Paras, KYT, Action 7 News.